Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of my Shaman Arena run. Uh, if you guys saw my last video, you uh, know that I have been uh, derping it up with this run. I played terribly in my last game. I should have... Not should have. Could have won that game very handily. Uh, but I made two very bad plays that cost me the game. And unfortunately... One bad play is bad, two bad plays is... It's simply un... it's basically unforgivable. Like, you don't deserve to come back from that. So, I ended up losing. As, like, in that situation, as I should have lost. So, game three. Uh, so far we've been up against a warrior and a rogue. Uh, we are up against another warrior. Warriors become pretty as I said, pretty good in Arena since the uh, release of, I want to say, League of Explorers, I think it was called. Uh, it's the set that dropped Reno Jackson. There was a lot of uh, a lot of good commons that dropped. The Monkey was good. The uh, Obsidian Destroyer, I think I got the name right this time, is also quite good. Um, and uh, as I explained in the last video, you... A class's access to common cards is a lot to do with whether or not they can uh, function well in Arena. And more importantly, early game strong class cards are very important. So, here I am actually going to coin out the Totem Golem so I can kill this. And uh, also, partially so that I can play the Tuskar Totemic on turn 3, and uh, dodge the overload cost there. Blackwing Technician is another decent 3 drop. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I did not draft any dragons, so there is zero chance of dragon synergy with this card. So, it's not quite as good as it could be. Alright. So I was planning on playing the Tuskar Totemic here, but there's nothing with a large amount of health on the board yet. So I'm just going to play the Blackwing Tessnition because it has more health available to it. And uh, I'm going to try and force him into some unvaluable trades here. I have an axe to grind. Another thing to note with this deck is that I did not get any... Like, no uh, AoE removal, which is pretty unlucky. There's a lot available to... Uh, there's a lot of good AoE av removal available to Shaman, and not pulling any really hurts in situations like this. And I'm probably going to take a decent amount of damage for it. So... Put that in, and I'm tempted to hang on to that to see if he gets a fiery war axe or, or something along those lines. Little time, I wonder. Yeah, right. I'll try and hang on to that. Another blood hoof. See, this is what I was saying about strong commons. Blood hoof brave is a common card, so it's really not that unlikely that he would have gotten more than one blood hoof brave. So I can't really 
fault him for getting two of them, but at the same time, they're just they're they're so solid. It's it's hard to get through a two six that has such a good enrage ability. And here comes an execute. No. Just gonna trade in. All right. And once again, just trying to play tempo on curve, making the most of my mana from turn to turn. that was a mistake. Oh yeah, I also got this Blackwater Pirate and no weapons, which there are also, once again, a lot of weapons available to Shaman. Hmm. So I'm tempted to... I think I'm going to drop down the Flame Juggler. Because if it hits any of these three... Well, if it hits either of these two, then all of a sudden, killing that tentacle becomes really valuable. Toss that down, and I don't want him to get draw from that cult master. Because right now, I have card advantage. So I'm going to try and avoid giving him extra cards. It's unfortunate that he was able to get extra value out of that uh, Zoss Temple Tentacle, but I think it's more important to deny him the card draw. I don't want to get too greedy and try and keep that up because he could draw some board clear. And we should really start. Oh, yeah. We are simply just going to overwhelm him now. Very little other than Brawl. Actually, I think basically at this point only Brawl saves him. And he's top decking. Yeah. So that time we did much better. Like, uh, Arena is just a combination of, of luck and a, a certain amount of skill at playing a tempo game. Like, if you, if you can't play the tempo game, you're going to lose. But, I mean, if you're also getting really unlucky with your drafts, you're also just eventually going to lose. Like, in the last video, that rogue with two Van Cleefs was absolutely nuts. I have never gotten two legendaries in a deck in any of the arena runs that I've ever done. I'm actually, uh, in my opinion, I'm pretty unlucky when it comes to 
my drafts and arena runs, I get usually nine times out of ten, I get the bare minimum number of rares and the single epic at the end. Which is the case in this game here. Which is unfortunate because you can carry yourself a certain amount, but then once you start hitting like five or six wins, then then you're really going up against like your chances of going up against somebody who just got like a god tier like deck. Something that approaches what a standard deck would look like. The, the chances just go up astronomically. And if you're just playing with a average bare bones deck, your ch your chances of winning that <laughs> time for a drop quite a bit. Toasty. All right. I'm tempted to throw this down. Just, just run face. Have to play around the uh, Berserker a little bit. The light protects me. Once again, just try and get as much value out of the cards that you play on board. <clears throat> An interesting note on uh, Paladins in Arena is that they used to be extremely popular. Uh, but now I, f I find that Paladins, it, it, either, it comes down to either they got uh, they got muster for battle and a, and a couple of weapons, and they do amazingly. Or they they don't get a few weapons, and they don't get muster for battle, and they just they just do extremely poorly. What to do? Just kind of an interesting dynamic. Uh... Yeah, I think I just want to toss down the sludge belcher, or I could. I think that's a decent play. I always find it interesting that Naxxramas cards are still available in Arena. I, I kind of thought that they would be uh, phased out when Standard was introduced, but I don't know why I thought that, but uh, that, that was just the, Im the impression that I got of the meta. Next turn, we're likely going to Corrupted Healbot and Loot Hoarder. Oh boy. And there's that first weapon. True Silver Champion is so freaking powerful. Odd.
totally would have thought that he would have traded both the one ones in. He must have some sort of uh, buff in his hand. None may steal our secrets. Pretty unfortunate, but I mean, it's better than the Devil Sore getting Uldemond. Back to your homes. Hmm. Hey, give me that. I'm gonna drop down the tiger now so that I can get an 8 8 taunt next turn. Oh boy. That is very unfortunate. Deck is so good. Free divine shields everywhere. Mysterious Challenger. This is what I mean. Once you start getting a couple wins, you go up against these stupidly good decks like this. And unfortunately, like I said, I do not have any board clear at all. Sacrifice, and hopefully that's not an avenge. Right, of course. The synergy, holy crap. And of course it's an avenge. Yeah, our chances of winning this are basically zero. One mana secret being able to kill my five drop tiger for free. Yeah, we just lose here. Another noble sacrifice, Jesus fucking Christ. This guy's deck and that steward of Darkshire lost us the game big time because he discovered it and we were never able to kill it. Oh, amazing. Feels bad, man. I think I think I played that correctly. I just there's nothing I could do. Oh, 
Miss Gina. You asked for it. For Doomhammer. I'm going to keep the four drop here because I do have the two drop already. I am ready. Do you have the three drop? Sort of. Oh god, I hope that's not a mirror entity. Yep. It looks like we're just gonna get out tempoed this game. Any with a little bit of luck, he won't be able to deal with the 7-7 seven seven very well. And next turn, we've got a pretty decent turn, too, with Totem Gold and the Rock Biter weapon. to die. Next turn, we can probably strangle Thorn Tiger. I think we still just play the Stranglethorn Tiger this turn. That should be all right. It's better than the creeper getting hit by it. Two cards and a hero power for that bog creeper. I will take it. Hmm. Two. 
to bring some fish. Could save that crackle. Yeah, I think I will save that crackle. With any luck, we'll have a strong Thunder Bluff turn next turn. See what we get. I'm just going to throw it in. Still want to try and play around some AoE, at least a little bit. Probably ice block. Alright. So far, all of our wins have been on the back of Thunderbluff Valiant, which is honestly unsurprising. Alright, guys, that's part two of the arena run. I will see you guys next time.